Islam, Hotep, got a little bit more to go back at you again, you heard me? And uh, this is part two to how to file your lawsuit, you heard me? Check it out. Peace. All right, this is the cover sheet, all right, to the lawsuit right there, you know what I'm saying? You must fill out a cover sheet before you file anything in a federal court on your lawsuit. And it's questions that they ask you, all right? One of the questions that's important to you is the venue. The word venue means the neighborhood where it's going to take place at, you know what I'm saying? Like this question right here, say, check the county where action occurred. That's the venue. Then it asks you the basis of jurisdiction, you know what I'm saying? You know, and the jurisdiction, you know what I'm saying? And this lawsuit is the federal question, you know? This question, they ask the federal question, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what's going on on that, you know? Like that. Then it asks you citizenship of the parties. You know what I'm saying? You know, picture that, the session with the parties. Then it asks you the nature, the nature of the suit, right? Nature of the suit, constitutionality, state statutes, right? And you got brief violating the constitutional rights. You got your demand, then you sign it, you know what I'm saying? It's June 13th, done that suit, right? Now, we got the actual lawsuit itself here, you know. Got the actual lawsuit. Alright. This is stationary on this lawsuit right here, you know. See, I have the continental flag. That's the flag that flew over the whole continent of the United States. That's from North America, South America, and all the islands. That flag there flew all over the continental United States. Because I'm a Moorish national of the continental United States. Got the great seal in the middle. Got the Moroccan flag right there. You know what I'm saying? Go, you got the treaty of Morocco. And then other stuff right here. So I put my status on and proper persona, source jewels. That means I'm a proper person with all my rights. You know what I'm saying? You know. And yeah, we break the lawsuit now like this here. We got petition, lawsuit, for violation of rights, the rights of industry, false arrest, false imprisonment, and cruel treatment and slander. Right? And the reason why I put that on there because uh they violate the constitutional rights to the right to industry. And that's the right to run a business without a license, you know what I'm saying? So it was a false arrest and it was false imprisonment. And it was cruel treatment to lock me up for that, you know what I'm saying? And they slandered me because they tried to label me as Negro colored black, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, then we got the grounds for which relief, for which relief can be granted. And then it's these, uh, what I'm standing on. This is authorities right here, you know what I'm saying? These are the authorities, the 12 things I'm standing on. One, the United States Constitution, you know what I'm saying? Amendment 9. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to read it to you because you can't see that whole thing like that there. So, but you see, uh, U.S. Constitution Amendment 9, 1791, the enumeration and constitution of certain rights should not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. Uh, number two, United States Constitution Amendment 4, 1791, the right of the people to be secured in their persons, houses, papers, and effects. Against unreasonable searches and seizures should not be violated, and no warrant should issue, but upon proper cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or the things to be seized. All right, and I got number three on there. I got the State of Florida Constitution, Article One, uh, Article One, Section B, Paragraph One. It says, "Basic rights of all natural persons, female and male alike, are equal before the law and have, un have inalienable rights." Among which are the right to enjoy and defend life and liberty, to pursue a happiness, to be rewarded for industry, to acquire, possess, and protect property except that ownership, inherited, disposition, and possession of real property by aliens and eligible for citizenship may be regulated or prohibited by law. No person shall be deprived of any right because of race, religion, national origin, or physical disability. All right, and then I got number four. I got uh. 
1787 Morocco Treaty of Peace and Friendship and 1836 Barbary Treaties of Tunisia, Morocco and Algeria. Uh, number five, I got the 1790 Sun Drive Free Mold Act. Number six, I got the principle of the United States Declaration of the Rights of Child. Every child at birth should have the right to a name and nationality. You know what I'm saying? You know? And number seven, I got the Field House of Representative Resolution number 75. Right there, say 1933, Moorish Americans Society and the use of their names. Uh, number eight, I got the United Nations. Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 1, 8, 9, 15, 17, and 23. I got the Executive Order 13107, Implementation of Human Rights Treaties. I got number 10, uh, the Foreign Cyber Immunity Act of 28, United States Code 1609, 1601. Number 11, I got the Moore Zoria Constitution, Article 4. And number 12, I got the United Nations Rights of Indigenous People, International Law. All right. And that's uh that's my grounds for which relief can be granted on. That's the authorities that I'm standing on, you know what I'm saying? You must when you file a lawsuit site what gives you your power to do what you do. And that's your authority right here. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and uh I'm gonna read you the brief summary of what happened, you know what I'm saying? I say I know over Shahid a Allah El am a natural born Aboriginal indigenous divine being of the Moorish nation affirming the filing plain statement of facts. On Tuesday, April 24, 2008, Allah El was expressing my right to right to industry. Definition of industry from Black Law Dictionary, third edition, 1891. Industry. Any department or branch of all occupation or business conducted as a means of livelihood or for profit, especially one which employs much labor and capital and is a distinctly branch of trade. All right. And I got number two. I said, while conducting industry on a public sidewalk on or about Ocean Drive and 11th Street, I was stopped by a Miami Beach police officer. He asked me, did I have a permit? I replied, no, I did not. The police then became rude and aggressive in speech towards me. Then asked me for my ID. I gave it to him. I also made the police aware that I was expressing my right to industry that is guaranteed by the United States Constitution, Amendment 9, and the State of Florida Constitution, Article 1. Section B, paragraph 1, you know what I'm saying? Then I got legal definition of rights, and it's quoted personal liberty or the right to enjoy the life and liberty is one of the fundamental natural rights which have been protected by its intrusion as a guaranteed in various constitutions which is not derived from or dependent on the U.S. Constitution which may not be submitted to a vote and may not depend on the outcome of an election. You know what I'm saying? You know, and they say it is the most sacred as the right to the private property and it's regarded as inalienable. That's constitutional law there, you know what I'm saying, you know, and this is continue with the suit. They say the police officer then ran a background check and then he placed me under arrest. I was never read my Miranda rights. At the time, Allah L suffered and lost freedom. Monetary loss, rights violated, and imprisonment because I exercised the fundamental right. This action that was taken by the Miami Beach police officer is a clear violation of the rights that are guaranteed by the United States Constitution and international law. All right. Any action by a police officer, officer of the court, public servant of the government, official to assert unlawful authority under the color of law would be construed as a direct and willful violation of our Constitution and treaties, protected rights, and protected to the full extent of natural law. That's Title 28, United States Code 17469. Definition of color of law. Black Law Dictionary, 3rd edition, 1891, says the appearance or semblance without the substance of legal right. Right? The officer had no right to arrest me for what he stated as a solicitation. The Miami Beach Police Officer Delegation of Authority is derived from the United States Constitution and the State of Florida Constitution. All right? And old cops must have a delegation of authority to do anything, you know what I'm saying? And this is the cop delegation of authority that's coming from the state constitution. See, Florida Constitution, Article 3, Section B, it say each state and county official before entering upon the duties of the office should give bind as required by law and shall swear and affirm, I do swear and swear 
uh, firm that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and the government of the United States and of the state of Florida. I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the state and that I will and well faithfully perform the duties of title of office which I am now about to enter. So help me God. Peace.